more of your realizations you had during solitary sadhana? Oh, we've talked about this so many Before times. Before you start. Why should I go over it again? Read the article that I wrote on the uh, Kauai retreat. It's on the website. That explains everything. Why isn't anybody asking a question that's related to the topic? Yeah, there's no questions. Well, this is disappointing, you know? It's like, you know, when I do share my personal realization, then somebody starts asking questions about some other realization that I had seven years ago. And I'm, I've just spent an hour sharing the realization that I had today. And nobody can ask a question about that? Well, that's very disappointing. Like, why should I go to the trouble of sharing my realizations if no one even cares enough to inquire into it and get the get the details. See, th this is why I think the window of preaching in the West is closing. That this is why I think the gateway to becoming a devotee um, for the Western countries is pretty much at an end. This is why we're going back to India, because we have not got a very good reception here in the West. You know, I guess, I guess that means I, can, I consider myself as coming from India, because <laughs> I feel like I'm going back to India. You know, like that's, that's the center, that's the home. That's the natural place. Because that's Krishna's place. That's the place that Krishna comes when he comes to this planet. And I feel like, okay, I've been in the West for a long time now and I've tried to preach and I, you know, gave it my best shot. But very, very few people have responded. And uh, there's been a lot of very insincere people uh, we even initiated a couple of people in the beginning who just like stopped being a devotee, stopped being a disciple, and went back to some other totally opposing philosophy and teaching. And uh, you know, as a result, we've become very uh, cautious about who we initiate. You know, I mean, I would like to initiate more disciples, but if no one's coming who's actually sincere, then what, you know, why should I go through all that trouble? You know, I, I feel like you know, I've put in so much, invested so much energy, and you know, now it's time for me to go take care of my spiritual life, and just to associate with the sincere disciples who've come forward and offered service. You know, that's why I'm um, making some uh, confidential topics of discussion to be shared just among the devotees who are coming to the Janmashtami festival. And they're not going to be shared with others uh, because those are the devotees who are doing service. They're actually active. You know, they're doing the process. They're not just like here for entertainment. They're actually you know, contributing something. So, uh, you know, there's, there'll be several opportunities that are open to those devotees that aren't going to be open to anybody else. You know, because I don't see the same uh, service attitude. So I guess I'm a little bit disappointed with the response or the lack of response that I see from the Western devotees. And... Uh, you know, the, the qualities, 
the quality of the questions posted on the website and things like that has been it's been very disappointing to me you know and i'm getting to the point where it's time for me now to go to a holy place and go on take care of my spiritual life which i've been neglecting i've been neglecting my health i've been neglecting a lot of things um, to do all this service and now i feel like okay it's it's time now to to take care of uh, you know my own service <laughs> my own spiritual life i've given all the tools i've given all the teachings i even wrote a tika on vedanta sutra you know so um, you have to maintain your own spirit of inquiry sufficiently to inquire into all these things and learn them I've given all the tools, I've given all the methods, I've given all the material, it's all there. Now you have to put some energy into it and become advanced. Otherwise, why, you know, why should I continue to make myself available if you're not going to become advanced, if you're going to ask the same questions over and over and over again? Babaji, fix this. Babaji, help that. Babaji, do this for me. Do that for me. Read my chart. Blah, blah, blah. There's a whole course on astrology. You can read your own chart. Well, why doesn't anybody do it? You know, so anyway, we're, we're, my feeling is to, to close this episode of, uh, of this preaching in the West. And uh, if my disciples want, then they can go on preaching. But I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of it. You know, I'm not seeing that the, the people are responding. A few people are responding nicely, but then the vast majority are, are responding in a very trivial way. And I feel like it's, uh, it's offensive, actually. Uh, we need to see more more um, sincere service attitude from the people on the community site, especially. Uh, then I might be more inclined to, uh, you know, put more energy into preaching. Are there any more questions? Yes. Mother Swati commented, uh, today Darshan has helped me most positively. I just don't have any question about it. Ronald, Ronald Singh asks, Babaji, if we don't feel advanced enough to accept initiation right now, can we accept it later? Um, you know, the, with the conditions of the world and the situation that's, that seems to be building up, um, it may not be possible to offer initiations later. The real initiation is that you follow the instructions. The real initiation is that you uh, invest your energy in service. Uh, the real initiation is that you take the purposes of Krishna as your purposes. That you uh, adopt this service attitude. You learn from the guru how to serve, uh, the mood of service, and that you dedicate the rest of your life to that service. It's not a simple matter of, you know, doing this and doing that just to get initiated. The initiation is not the goal. The initiation is only setting the goal the real goal is to live your whole life according to the principles that you promise to follow at initiation. That's the actual initiation. Initiate means to begin. It doesn't mean, it, it's not called completiation. Huh? <laughs> it's not the goal. It's just a ceremony to commence the service 
that is going to last the rest of your life. My point tonight is that if you do that, and if you actually do that service, then Krishna will certainly respond. Not that he's obligated to respond. Huh? Because he doesn't make the promise at initiation. His devotee does. You know? But my promise to you is that if you serve Krishna faithfully and continuously and steadily for the rest of your life, that Krishna will deliver you. Because that's my experience. Krishna will protect you. He'll take care of you. He'll support you. He'll give you everything you need. All the resources, all the knowledge, all the insight, everything. I'm not promising that it's going to be easy because it's not easy. I'm just saying that that's the only 